hello there and welcome. Uh, Sasha is here and today I want to share with you some ideas that I came across um, analyzing the results of my students uh, in a way that some of them get a very quick, quick breakthrough and very quickly implement all the knowledge they learned over the period of time while the others are stacked to the momentum and doesn't get that breakthrough easily. So, I came across a very good understanding of where do we groom actually from. Uh, what kind of dots we need to connect in order to analyze um, our knowledge, put it in a way of experience, and how the final product of our knowledge appear in front of us as a, real, a result of our work. So, what we need in order to get our final result, and we call a final result, let's say, a form we created on, uh, on, on, on a dog. Okay, first what we need to do is to create a perfect image or the picture of the dog in our mind. So what, what, and we set by that picture, we set the goal that we want to achieve, okay? So we have one shape in our mind, how do we want to groom the dog to look like, okay? Then we have our technique that will help us put that knowledge and put that uh, vision of ours outside and create the final form on the outside outside eyes. So see, you need to have uh, two things. One is in your mind and other one is result of that, what you are thinking, how the perfect is looking like. And the technique is connecting those two things, okay? What is the difference in between two of those things? The difference in between them, in between, this is shape. Shape is created in our mind and we are looking that shape on the screen of our mind. And no matter will we see that third dimension, it will sti still be the picture, okay? Picture on a screen of our mind, okay? Then we are mobilizing all our knowledge and technique, and we are creating a form. But difference in between shape and the form is that the form is three-dimensional, actually something that we create outside us. And this is amazing to understand. Because as much as you are working and with the knowledge, with expectation of yourself, you will, still will, you will still be dealing with something that we are looking at the screen of our mind, imagining how something is looking like, understanding how does it need to look like, then connecting the perfect shape we want to achieve with the technique that we mastered. So, where the intention and focus of ours is always, always developing the techniques, improving, improving, improving. We are too much focusing on what we are getting as a result without understanding and changing the perfect image first head that is actually fixed in our mind. So if we want to change this and we are not satisfied with this as a result of our grooming, that we are using a technique to express something outside of ourselves, we don't look at the right place if we are outside of ourselves. First, we need to understand what is going inside our mind, why we have this kind of shape created in our mind, and work on that. So here, I like to understand, and now when we, you know, when you put this, you know, process divided in these three parts, 
then we do understand that we need to bring some other ideas and some other kind of knowledge. So we do understand how all of this functioning, how we are getting the results that we are getting using the technique we are using, and how do we create a shape that we have an illusion it's perfect in our mind. How to develop flow in between here and there. So how to make that flow of excellence so we execute things by just doing it without thinking of it. That's the most important part. And then that I learned from one of the great mentors, and you have it available as well, but you know, understanding that kind of philosophy is very difficult. It took me five years of very hard working and very hard you know, making mistakes and trying to put myself and push myself through the boundaries I was able to, to experience and, you know, pulling the people in my life that will help me understand that message. It's a message of uh, vibration. It's a message of law of the attraction. It's a message of pre-material realistic way. Everything what we see around us, one time it was, a, it was idea of someone. If we see this beautiful building that we are actually taping this message for you, one time, at one moment, everything of this that is creating around us was an idea of someone. Putting that idea in a perfect plan through the perfect action and execute it without limitless and thinking about it, creates something what we call a material world. There is no difference once we start creating something that is called perfect form that we shape our dogs in. So first of all, to get here, we need to understand everything what is going around in our mind. How do we understand what is nice and what is not? How do we deal with the results? Because everything is already preset in our mind. Bob Proctor, one of the great speakers on the modern philosophy of success and achievements, the diagram I will, I will, I will be showing to you explain it, explains it perfectly. And I managed to mobilize this knowledge through the very, very narrow gate and understanding how the grooming world is functioning in order to achieve the greatest forms and the uh, uh, results we are seeking for. Okay, so first we need to know how the mind is functioning, okay? And this is a diagram. We have a mind, and this is our mind that creates our, this is energy, energy and our mind that is creating our body. So here we are connecting, connected to our body. So this is our head, okay, and here we are ha happy, okay? Happy, happy person okay but we have that big mind around us it's not i'm not speaking about the brain the brain is part of the body but the mind is something that no one was able to explain how does it function and how does it works but that is something that is before our body it's before our materialization it's something that actually creates us as we are in a physical form as well have affecting our results and our actions. But how? The, m the mind is divided in two parts. One is conscious mind and one is subconscious mind. The conscious mind is always thinking. Okay. And we have a thoughts, and he's always driving us and driving us crazy, crazy, crazy. Because we are always thinking, thinking, thinking. Understanding the dog, how the dog is looking like, uh, the poodle, the continental, the, the stream, the terriers. Everything we are thinking about, we are thinking about our, through our conscious mind. And that would be great if this part of our mind is responsible for our results. But it's not. Our subconscious mind is create something what we call 
actions, actions that are bringing the results. But everything goes through the subconscious and everything we accept and transform as a habit and what we are doing without thinking of, we are doing. Until we are thinking, we are in the conscious mind. And it's great because that conscious mind, once we accept knowledge as a truth, experience it and understand it, that knowledge goes into the subconscious, creates our taste, our understanding of the things we are starting to accept as a part of us, they create our actions that will create our results, but everything of this is happening unconsciously. You are not aware of that because it's tr made through the habit. Subconscious mind is actually responsible for the habit. If we want to change a habit, we need to change what is going on in our subconscious mind. And that's the only way we would change our result. If we are not happy with what, how we groom today, how we, which kind of um, the economical status we live in today, like what is the amount of the money in our account, only thing we need, only thing we are able to change that is a verse. So, if we are not happy with the result, we need to change actions. If we do need to, to change actions, we need to somehow approach a subconscious mind. So you are not able to approach it because as long as you are thinking, you are in a conscious mind. How this affects grooming? How this affects your final result? How this will affect your perfect shape is something that I learned and want to share with you. How to create perfect image, understand it in a conscious mind, how to direct it into the subconscious mind, how to mobilize your body through your action and how to get the perfect shape with every single cut without thinking of it. That is a moment. This need to come from you through the flow. Once you're thinking about the angulations, about the front, about the coat type, about the bathing, about the grooming, you are still thinking and that is not able to bring you nowhere. And I'm overexciting to share this with you. It's a simple steps. Changing your paradigm of how the world functioning. Everything else, we are doing the same. Are we growing dogs? Are we getting results at home, in relationships, with the mates, with the friends, with the bank account? Everything is the same. Thank you so much and have a beautiful day. Mm -hmm.